Lancashire's Vulcan factory has a contract for 62 locomotives. And here we see the first at the end of the production line. These engines, destined for Nigeria, are all named after Nigerian rivers. The acute shortage of rolling stock in West Africa has held up the transport to coastal ports of ground nuts and other exports vital to Nigeria's economy. And Britain is therefore as anxious to supply the engines as Nigeria is to receive them. The 19th century colonial era narrow gauge railway infrastructure in Nigeria progressively became outdated and by 2013 the only operational segment of Nigeria's rehabilitated single track was between Lagos and Kano. Passenger trains took 31 hours to complete the journey at an average speed of 45 kilometers per hour. As part of the Nigeria government's commitments to transform the railway subsector, it signed an $8.3 billion contract agreement in 2006 with the China Civil Engineering Construction Company. The 156 kilometers Lagos to Ibadan standard gauge double track at an estimated cost of $1.53 billion is the second of the six segments that form phase one of the government standard gauge railway modernization project linking the port city of Lagos to Kano, the commercial nerve center of northern Nigeria. The first segment, Abuja to Kano, built an estimated cost of $876 million, became operational in July 2016. Other sections are Ibadan to Ilorin, Ilorin to Mina, Mina to Abuja, and Kaduna to Kano. There is a future Abuja to Wari connection also planned. The Standard Gauge Railway is the most widely used railway track gauge across the world with approximately 55% of the lines in the world, including vast majority of high-speed lines, using it. The scope of the Lagos to Ibadan segment includes the construction of the new railway bridges, vehicular flyovers and pedestrian bridges, covered drains, embankments, and protection work. There will also be 11 new stations, of which four will be mega stations with capacity to handle 4,000 to 6,000 passengers at peak hours. In addition, there are freight yards planned at Apapa Harbor Station, Kajola and Ibado, dedicated power supply from the national grid with four substations and 200 kilometers approximate length of distribution line. The construction has had its challenges with the relocation of the originally planned Abelkuta station as that was declared unsuitable for construction. There have been other issues, all of which had to be overcome. The new Lagos Ibadan standard gauge line is a significant step in the Nigerian government's goal of modernized rail network. It will improve logistical efficiency, increase capacity to transport passengers in freight and generate comprehensive benefits for local economies along the railway. The 186 km Abuja Kaduna segment is the first to be implemented as part of the Lagos Kano Standard Gauge project. The passenger trains can operate at a speed between 200 km per hour and 250 km per hour. The travel time between Abuja and Kaduna will be reduced to one hour. Other standard gauge line projects in the pipeline include the Lagos Benin City 300 km, Benin Abakiliki 500 km, Benin Obudukatu Ranch 673 km, Lagos Abuja High Speed 615 km, Zaria Benin Koni 520 km, Egain Otuku 533 km, and Egain Abuja. Other projects scheduled are the Potakot Meduguri Line. 1,657 kilometers, Ogoja Meduguri, Kano Gamburu Ngala, Kano Jibia, and Ilila Mina Rail Line.